Hello children before starting today's topic let me tell you a short story see as you can see there is an apple tree with 15 apples on it and suddenly what happened children suddenly the storm came up and due to that storm five of the apples from the tree fall down and this is all about our today's concept that is subtraction so what do you have noticed children here subtraction is all about the removing the objects from a collection as we had a collection of 15 apples on the tree and five have been removed by the storm or by anything so now 10 apples have been left over on the tree so this is known as the subtraction concept when we are removing the things or objects from a collection so children let me tell you some more terms related to subtraction before moving ahead so how many apples we have on the tree 15 apples and five apples fallen down and we have left with 10 apples afterwards so in this case the number from which we are subtracting anything that number is known as minuend m i n u e n d it is known as the minuend and the number which we are subtracting that is known as subtrahend s u b t r a h e n d this is known as the subtrahend and of course what is the result of the subtraction it is the difference d i w f e r e n c e so these are the terms which we are going to use in subtraction minuend subtrahend and the difference so let us quickly move to the rules of the subtraction so first rule children is the order of the numbers order of the numbers as we have done in addition as well order of the addends in that addition case it doesn't affect when we are changing the order of the addends while adding but yes it will affect while doing the subtraction so you people must have to keep in mind that the order should be in the same order like if we are gone we want to subtract we want to subtract 15 from 20 so we'll get the answer as 5 and we can't change 15 minus 20 add as it will give us a wrong answer so in subtraction we need to keep in mind that the order should be similar it should not be changed while subtracting second rule is subtracting zero so subtracting zero is little bit similar to the subtract addition of zero that suppose i have five chocolates with me i am very much fond of chocolates so five chocolates with me and i will not share any of the chocolate with any one of you so how many chocolates i will left with yes i will left with five chocolates of course so there will be no change in the number if we are subtracting zero from a number whether it is a large number or a small number so if i am going to add subtract zero so i'll have the same number with me similarly if i have a bigger number that is suppose i am subtracting 0 from 2 lakh i will get the same answer that is 2 lakh of course so there is no change while we are subtracting 0 from any of the number third rule will be subtracting subtracting 1 So children when we are going to subtract 1 from the number 1 uh when we are going to subtract 1 10 100 1000 it will be quite similar for adding those numbers which we have done in the previous video so in that there will was change or increase of 1 at the same place but in this case while we are subtracting we have the decrease in that place the number which is at that place let us quickly see with an example suppose i have a number 
nine three six and i'm gonna subtract one from this number and similarly i have this again and i'm gonna subtract 10 from the same number i have i'm taking again this number and i'm gonna subtract 100 and i'm gonna subtract 1000 from the similar number so as we were doing in addition we were increasing so whenever we are subtracting one from any of the given number we will get the answer as it's the predecessor predecessor means the number which is just before that given number that means one less than this number so as we have six at the ones place what is the number which is just before six that is five yes so we, when we are going to subtract one from 42,936, we will get 42,935. Now, when we are going to subtract 10, of course, it will affect the tens place, the number which is at tens place. So the number, the digit which is at tens place is ones tens, this 3 and here it was 6. So when we are going to subtract 10, so it will decrease the number by 1 which number which is at the tens place so of course it will be 42,926 as we have just changed this number now when we are subtracting 100 so it is going to affect the number which is at 100 place 1 tens 100 this 9 so it is 4 2 8 36 this will be the answer now when we are going to subtract 1000, so of course it will affect the digit which is at the 1000 place, 1 stands 100,000. This will be affected. So it will be 41,936. So children, this is all about if you are subtracting 1, 10, 100 and 1000. And likewise this, you can subtract more numbers or more multiples of 10 by the same method. Now let us see the last rule. The last rule is subtracting the number itself. Subtracting the number itself. Suppose I have, I had five chocolates and I have to give five of all of the five chocolates to my younger sister. So how many chocolates I left with? Yes, I will be left with zero chocolate only. So same as regardless of any of the number when we had subtracting the same number from the given number suppose uh, we are subtracting 40 from 40 we will get the answer as 0 similarly if I am going to subtract 23,236 23,236 I am gonna get a 0 here again so it's quite simple then when we are subtracting the same value from the given number we will get a zero so children this is all about the concept of subtraction and rules of subtraction i hope you like this video so we'll meet in the next video children bye bye